Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and this should be a new series called How to Play Off Meta. And we're going to start with Yi ADC. Now, Yi is usually looked on as a jungle. Now, how is this done? Now, you can mess around with these in different ways, but there's a few pieces of advice I'd give about playing Yi ADC. Number one, the sup. Yes, Yi, I believe, cannot play with certain sups. He can only play with, I believe, stunners and damage sups. Preferably both. Nico actually, I find, is the best sub for Yi ADC. She provides stun and she provides damage. And then you can kind of just clean up at the end. But you can play with a multiple range of subs. Even someone like Knot, who can stun an enemy for a good while, would be a good sub for Yi. Next up, runes. Now, these are just the ones I'd recommend. You can even use Hail of Blades or whatnot, I believe. But these are just the ones I prefer to use with ADC items. Now, with Yi, first I'd get. Kraken Slayer, then Ginsos or Ginsus, not sure how to pronounce that, Rage Blade. I would advise these as being basically essential items for playing ADC Yi. Why? Because you're most likely going to be playing against a ranged ADC. So, killing them quickly is almost a must, I believe, because if you, do, if you don't kill them quickly, you're probably not going to kill them at all, especially if their sup comes into play. So, I really think these two items are really necessary because the... Kraken Slayer gives you attack speed, critical damage, Rage Blade obviously gives you critical damage, but then it converts the critical damage to on-hit damage, so you do a lot of damage and you do it very quickly with all that extra attack speed because Kraken Slayer also gives you 10% extra attack speed for every legendary item you have. So I really think those two are almost like essential items if you're going to go Yi ADC. Now, play style. Let me explain this way. After you get to the level 3 with the Yi ADC, in my opinion, you basically have to play aggressive. Why? Because you're most likely playing against a ranged champ. Sometimes two ranged champs. So, if you just try to farm, you're going to most likely be picked off piece by piece. Like, maybe the ADC will just keep hitting you. Because they can hit you, but you can't hit them. So, at level 3, especially if you have Nico Sup, aggression is key, I believe. Once you start to get a couple kills of either the Sup or the ADC or both, the rest of bots shouldn't be too much of a challenge. It's really just getting those first few kills that really kind of set the mark. So, in summary, I believe, number one, you need either a damage or a stunner. Or both. Like I said, Nico to me is the probably the best sup for EADC. Number two, Kraken Slayer and Ginsu Rage Blade, I believe, are a must. Because you need to kill those other champs quickly. And number three... You have to play aggressive. You cannot play farm ye ADC, I believe, and get away with it because they're just going to pick you off until you're too weak to actually go after them. So follow these tips, and I believe you should be doing pretty well with ye ADC. One good thing about ye ADC is that I believe that certain people just don't know how to counter him because they're not used to seeing him down there. Like, certain ADCs are like, no, I don't, why, why is ye ADC? Like, you kind of may just beat them because they may not understand exactly how best to approach. Now, one ADC, I would say, don't go up against as Yi, is vain. She's very annoying if you're a Yi ADC. Yes, you can probably still win the game, but it's just a hassle that I wouldn't want to put myself through again. So, other than that, let me know what you think about Yi ADC. Is this something you're going to try? Do you think it could actually become meta? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and God bless you all.